Electrostimulation therapy, also known as electrical stimulation therapy or electrotherapy, can serve a variety of treatment purposes depending on the specific technique and parameters used. Here are some of the common uses and effects of electrostimulation therapy. Muscle rehabilitation and strengthening, range of motion and mobility improvement, improving circulation, reducing swelling and inflammation, wound healing, management of neurological conditions, urinary incontinence treatment. How is electrostimulation therapy performed? Assessment and evaluation before starting electrostimulation therapy. A healthcare professional will typically assess the patient's condition to determine if electrotherapy is appropriate and safe. They will also identify the specific areas or muscles that need treatment. Preparation. The patient may need to remove clothing or accessories from the area being treated. The skin in the treatment area is usually cleaned to ensure good conductivity and to reduce the risk of infection. Electrode placement. Electrodes are placed on the skin in specific locations based on the treatment goals and the patient's condition. These electrodes are connected to a device that delivers electrical currents. Selection of parameters. The healthcare provider will select appropriate parameters for the electrical stimulation, including the frequency, pulse width, and intensity of the electrical currents. These parameters can be adjusted based on the individual's tolerance and response to the treatment. Initiating stimulation. Once the electrodes are in place and the parameters are set, the electrical stimulation is initiated. The patient may feel a tingling sensation or muscle contractions, depending on the type of stimulation being used. Monitoring and adjustment throughout the session, the healthcare provider monitors the patient's response to the treatment. They may adjust the parameters as needed to optimize the effectiveness and comfort of the therapy. Duration of treatment. The duration of each electrostimulation session can vary depending on the specific treatment protocol and the patient's needs. Sessions typically last between 15 minutes to an hour. Post-treatment care. After the session is complete, the electrodes are removed and the skin may be cleaned again. The patient may be advised on any post-treatment care instructions, such as avoiding certain activities or applying ice to the treated area. Follow-up. Depending on the patient's condition and treatment plan, multiple sessions of electrostimulation therapy may be recommended. Follow-up appointments allow the healthcare provider to track progress and make any necessary adjustments to the treatment plan. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to follow and be informed.